Hello guys, this is uh, Dr. Palani Apanmanikam. I'm very excited for this video because you guys have sent these reels to me to react and then give my opinion. I'm so excited. Let's dive deep into it. How many eggs do you do? Keeps adding in. That exactly. Oh my god. Wow. This looks exactly like our belly. We keep feeding it in, feeding it in, and then it comes out as a pot belly. So, guys, omelette is a wonderful dish, wonderful source of protein, good quality. Our lots of vegetables on the omelette gives you fiber, a little bit light on the cheese. It is amazing. I'm pretty sure this is amazing as well, but on the other end of the spectrum. I what I like so much about him is that he prays for the customers who is going to eat it. His prayer is going to answer me because those customers are going to be my prospective customers. Why, Dada, why? This why? is business. Serving in that pot, he symbolically means that it's going to be pot belly. My friend Saram Nakumar already has a pot belly. If he eats this, it'll become a jackpot belly. So tell me, how do you eat your omelette? How much cheese will you add? How many eggs do you add? And especially, what are the other ingredients like this guy is adding? Oreo. My favorite. God. What the heck is this? Dairy milk. Italy. Oreo Italy. Oreo dairy milk Italy. Oh my god. Day, day, day. Ungal ke niya mar kara. You know what he is going to do next? He is going to do chocolate sambar and Oreo chutney. My Bengali friend Abhijit Chakraborty has commented, next time try Oreo chapati and dark chocolate sabjiya. Hey, my favorite food Italy. Da. How will I eat Italy after seeing this? Uh, Italy is such a wonderful fermented food, low calorie, good source of protein, high fiber, all the good qualities is completely destroyed. I could see the Italy cooker steaming with anger and saying, converting Oreo into Italy is not my role and responsibility. Damn it. Please let me know in the comment section what are the healthier forms of Italy that you know so that we can promote a good eating healthier community. We are having gold gappe the unconventional way. Hum na gold gappe ke andar dalne wale hai hot gulab jamun. Gulab jamun syrup ke saath. What? Ye dish usko khilao jisko dar bahut lagta hai kyunki dar ke aage jeet hai guys. Ye dish itni bhi buri nahi thi. Subscribe for more. Subscribe for more. They don't know that I am watching. Are gorilla piche to kab darta hu? Oh dekh kaise gorilla porila alti palti kar di. Are hata yaar. I keep reading that India is developing with a lots of creativity, lots of job market and I can clearly say that the best job market ever in India is going to be medicine. And thanks to the creativity of this food vloggers. When I promote don't eat late at night, people are eating dinner at 7 p.m. going to bed, looking at the Instagram reel, get hungry on seeing the food vlogger reel at midnight. Gold Gappa Gulab Jamun is like a rock that rolls from the mountain and blocks the road. At least vehicle can apply brake, but our red blood corpuscle cannot escape. I wish these food vloggers don't enter the medical field. If not, they will fill Gold Gappa with glucose and feed the patient. Seeing this atrocity, the floating gulab jamun will try to sink at the bottom of the sugar syrup, trying to hide from her. It doesn't know that she will take it anyways. If you eat one gold kappa gulab jamun every three to six months, it is not going to cause a big problem. But I guarantee you and challenge you that nobody will be able to stop with one. Gold kappa is supposed to be an excellent source of fiber given the chickpea flour in limited quantities. Not like this. My loyal subscriber Subramani, after seeing this gold kappa, he is saying, Adeng kappa. There is a dosa. They put rasagulla on the top. And cheese, rasagulla, three. <gasps> Oh my god, they are crushing, they are crushing my heart. Oh my god. Hey, I will get a 
heart attack ra don't draw heart on the top of the dosa ra oh my god super guys when somebody does some things like this to idli and dosa which is my favorite food fermented food all gastroenterologists will absolutely love it because our gut bacteria is going to absolutely have a party when you are having idli or dosa again in moderation but this rasagulla dosa even with moderation your gut bacteria will be like yeah da why are you doing this to me da huh? if you don't have enough time to eat dessert after having dosa you could have rasagulla dosa my friends arunna kumar's only concern is whether this rasagulla dosa will be listed under dessert or main dish i could see why people are obsessed with this creativity because we love food at the same time we just need to be a little bit conscious about what we are eating again i'm not saying don't eat junk at all it is a matter of control conscious eating mindful eating and that is a habit that we need to develop each and every individual especially our kids because the growing blogging community is exp loading in all media platforms including youtube there is a channel called dr pal who is doing his own food vlog as well i had absolute fun reviewing all these videos if you had fun as well please consider supporting our non profit organization we support neurological patients who cannot even move walk talk or even eat we also support young kids with special abilities disabilities and including autism your support means a lot I will keep doing videos like this so that I will become a mind voice to you whenever you are seeing a bad food so that you will enforce mindful eating remember one belly at a time it is absolutely important I'll see you in the next video bye bye